Hi, my name is Ethan Ross, and this will be my music video and short form pitch. Uh, we'll start with my short form idea. My idea is a guy sitting by a bar drinking by himself, looking towards women in the bar, and imagining how a conversation would go with him, uh, obviously voice, voicing both sides in his head. He does this for two women, both ending in rejection, and gives up on trying to start a conversation with the woman in the bar and decides to take a sip of his drink. A woman will then come up to the man and starts talking to him, and they seem to get along well together. They begin to talk about their hobbies and interests with one another, and he discovers that they share the exact same interests. While they're talking, the bartender will cross past the man and give him a weird look. Uh, this isn't hinted, uh, this isn't explained at first, but will be, um, it will all come together at the end. He doesn't take notice and continues to talk to the woman. Uh, they continue and he reveals to her that he's never been good with talking to girls and always overthinks things and worries about what their opinion will be of him, uh, and never takes his own opinion into consideration, but that she's so easy to talk to and he really enjoys her company. Uh, after a while of talking to the woman, the bartender will come up to the man and tell him that they are closing and he's the only person here, and ask him to leave so that they can close the bar. Uh, he looks confused and says that he's not the only person here, and points towards the woman. And wh when he does this, he looks in her direction and all of a sudden she has vanished. Uh, the man becomes very confused and asks the bartender if he saw the girl that he was talking to during this night. Uh, the bartender says that he has no idea what he's talking about and that he's been alone the entire night. The man thinks back to talking to the girl and realizes that he had fabricated the encounter with this girl in his head, which explains why they had so much in common, basically mapping out how a conversation would go uh, with a girl who had the same interests in him, but he was so wrapped up in it that he forgot uh, what was real and what was fake. Uh, the scene ends with him uh, paying his bar tab and walking out of the bar. Uh, here is my mood board to show what kind of idea I was thinking of. Uh, obviously, there's photos of just uh, men sitting at bars by themselves. Uh, I, in the bottom left, you can see I've uh, included the photo of the mystery woman uh, that would come up and talk to him. Um, but I'm trying to get a sense of like just a standard bar and the man sitting uh, sadly by himself, and then this mystery woman will just uh, walk in and basically brighten up uh, his day, um, basically improving his mood. So getting on to what I will need uh, for my crew, I would like Callum as the sound mixer, I would like Georgina to be my camera operator, I would like Rohan to be my editor, uh, as well as a lighting assistant. Uh, obviously seeing Rohan's work with his music videos and his Halloween short, I really enjoy um, what he can bring and I'd like him to edit my project. I would like James as my clapper loader. I would obviously be the director as it is my idea and I couldn't pin that on someone else to try and basically bring my idea to life when they don't really know what my idea is. Um, I would like Sam and Nathan to be part of the art department. Uh, Michael to be my cinematographer. I would like Ryan Rogers to be my focus puller. Um, as I had a conversation with Ryan and uh, he did offer to be a focus puller for me if we ever needed it, um, and uh, obviously we don't have that much experience in it. He has a little bit more than us, so I trust him to do that for me. Uh, I would like Jude to be my producer, and I would like Sam Hawkins to be my gaffer. Uh, for the equipment that I would need, I would need the red camera uh, with cage and all attachments, plus an extra viewfinder for the cine arm. I've already mentioned a second viewfinder. Uh, lenses ranging from 15 millimeters cl for close-ups to 100 millimeters for wide shots. I would need three sky panels for lighting up uh, back walls. Uh, two Arri T300s with dimmers with uh, for tungsten light with a little bit of contrast. Uh, for sound recording equipment, I would need sound recording equipment and a boom pole. Uh, I would like the tracks uh, for the dolly to ride on as I would like to try and test a revealing shot uh, using the dolly for a smooth, slow, suspenseful reveal. Uh, two extra batteries for the red camera, four storage cards, and use of the dolly. Another thing I did not mention was the actual clapper. Um, for my budget, I've budgeted for three actors, being the bartender, the woman that the main character talks to, and the main character. Uh, the shoot would go on for two days, uh, and that would be £125 per day. I've also budgeted for uh, crafts food, which would be about £100, not something too expensive, just a little bit more than we need just in case. Uh, costume and props, I'm thinking about £400 to bring that all together. Some petty cash just for extra expenses where we need it uh, here and there would be about £200. And if needed, I have budgeted for location rent. Um, if the uh, Heil could uh, 
pub, which is the location I've chosen, which is just down the road, um, if they're not willing to let us do it for free, uh, we can offer them uh, 200 pounds to let us use it for two days, 100 pounds a day. Um, but that is my budget, yes. Uh, getting onto the schedule for my short form, uh, the entire duration of the thing will take about 10 days. Uh, starting with casting, we'd leave on the Friday, which is the 8th of May, and come back on the uh, May 11th, which is the Monday, uh, we'd go and do uh, uh, casting sessions with actors that we may uh, potentially want to use, um, and that would be uh, some members of the team going to do that. Uh, during that time, the other members of the team would acquire permissions for the location from them over the weekend, uh, sorting out any uh, things that they might want um, done before or them setting any like limitations on us, we'd go through that with them, uh, and that would be done simultaneously. Uh, then, when it comes to um, the uh, May the thirteenth, we'd go there and light setup equipment, and we'd also do a stand-in rehearsal uh, just to see what type of light we want to use, where we can make changes, um, and also just get all the equipment uh, set up. Uh, we then, once that is um, done, we'd make marks. Um, uh, and then come back the next day where we would do a rehearsal shoot with the actors on set. Um, this would be their first day being there. Um, we do that for a few hours. Uh, after that, we'd make any adjustments that we want to do um, on that day uh, and make a note of them. Then the following day, we'd bring the actors, uh, the actors in again. Um, this would be the f uh, actual day of the proper shoot. Uh, we would get that done. We'd also do some pickup shots on that day just in case we want to add anything or use different shots. Um, and then after that, we'd also take down all the equipment and bring it back to the college um, uh, on the same day, uh, basically putting an end to our overall shoot. Then from May 16th to May 20th, uh, we would have our editing time. Um, and then once that is done, that is the finale of our short film. Um, for the music video idea that I had, uh, my idea is to have a music is to have the music be uh, a background track while a girl is sitting on her bed and is taking heroin and experiencing a drug trip. The music will play th uh, throughout the trip. Uh, there are a lot of um, a lot of the video will be editing reliant, mostly uh, on effects to enhance the visuals uh, that she is witnessing during the drug trip. Uh, during the trip, she will remember moments uh, with her family and also give us some backstory about why she took. Uh, she took to drugs uh, due to her parents' divorce and the, uh, the neglect she received from that. Um, and that would basically be um, throughout the video with random uh, visual effects and random cuts back to her childhood uh, and what has led to this moment. Uh, the end of the video would be an overhead shot of her laying uh, on the bed with the needle close by, zooming um, out away from her as she's still in a daze uh, from the heroin that she's just taken. Uh, the song choice I chose was Dust by Moon. Um, there is a link to the YouTube channel. I, would also, I will also include a uh, small uh, clip of the music here. Uh, coming to my mood board for the music video, uh, as you can see, I've taken a lot of inspiration from uh, Train Spotting, uh, which is a film about uh, a bunch of Scottish uh, drug addicts uh, and their addiction to heroin. And the film follows uh, a young Ewan McGregor uh, as he slowly um, starts to go off heroin, but it basically just documents his um, journey throughout that. Um, a lot of the scenes in that were uh, basically uh, close-ups of Ewan McGregor uh, during these hero heroin-filled trips, um, and I, I take a lot of inspiration from that. Um, there's also a, the use of like psychedelic uh, kind of colors and all that with um, kind of a hypnotic almost thing. Uh, the bright colors, of course, uh, the use of drugs, the needles, um, and basically this out like outer body experience. 
uh, but I'm mainly pulling inspiration from train spotting. I will also include a um, clip of uh, the train spotting um, drug, uh, heroin filled drug trip here. What's on the menu this evening, sir? Your favorite dish? Excellent. Usual table, sir? Oh, well, why, thank you. Uh, would Sir care to pay for his bill in advance? No, stick it on my tab. I regret to inform, sir. Credit limit was reached and beats quite some time ago. Oh, well, in that case. Ah, hard currency. That'll do nicely. Can't be too careful, but deal with your type, can we, sir? It was Sir Kerr for a starter, some garlic bread, perhaps? No, thank you. I'll proceed directly to the intravenous injection of hard drugs, please. As you wish, sir. As you wish. Just a perfect day Drink sangria in the park uh, getting on to what I will need for equipment on the left, I will need the again the red camera uh, with Cajun all attachments plus a secondary viewfinder, uh, lenses ranging from 15 millimeters for close-ups to 100 millimeters for wide shots, uh, two sky panels for lighting up the back wall, four RET 300s with dimmers with uh, for tungsten light with a little bit of contrast, two extra batteries for the red camera, uh, three storage cards, and I'd also like Rob to use Rob's smoke machine for special effects. Um, Getting onto the crew, I would like uh, Georgie as my cinematographer, uh, Rohan as the producer, James as the clapper loader, myself would be the gaffer, uh, I'd like Sam as a director, I'd like Nathan to be the editor, I'd like Ka Callum to be the lighting assistant, uh, I'd like Michael to be the camera operator, I would like Ryan Rogers to be the focus puller again, and uh, I'd like Jude to be in the art department. For my budget, um, we would have three actors being... Uh, the main character, the uh, the girl taking the heroin, uh, and her father and mother. This averages out to about 110 pounds a day for two days. Uh, we'd also need about 100 pounds for food. That's just a little bit more, but just in case. Costume and props are a bit more this time at 500 pounds because we have to build the set. Um, and I'd like to bring in like um, a bed uh into this a bed into the studio some side tables some decoration for the room to make it look like it's a really lived in room um but 500 pounds just uh as if we can't find anything we may have to build something or go buy something if it fits the um the scene and the project perfectly i may need uh, that money also another uh, petty cash is just extra expenses in case uh we need a little, a little bit extra money. We do have that money to t uh, tap into. And uh, as a total, it would be about £1,460 to make. Uh, and also the song choice, again, is there, Dust by Moon. Uh, we will then get on to the schedule for the music video. Uh, I've kept the same structure uh, as the um, short film. I have changed the dates. Uh, obviously, uh, can't do them on the same days. Uh, so I've uh, change them over for I think two weeks after so on the 22nd uh, to the 25th which is a weekend we'll be casting uh, at the same time uh, from the 23rd to the 25th we will be acquiring materials and props uh, for the set um, and bringing them in and building the set uh, on the uh, 26th we will light set up the equipment and also do a stand in rehearsal just to see where things can fit and make marks of that on the 27th, which would be the first days that the act, the first day that the actors are um, in, we will do a rehearsal shoot as well as adjustments uh, for anything that we may want to change. Uh, then on the 28th, we would bring the actors in again for the actual shoot day, and we would shoot that. Um, we would then also do some pickup shots just in case. Again, um, always need some pickup shots. Uh, then on 
uh, after all of that is done on the 28th after shooting we would also take down all the equipment but we wouldn't take down the set yet uh, then from May 29th to June 2nd we would be editing that music video um, to try and get it done and then on June 2nd as well after editing we would come and take down the set and overall the uh, time period in days for this is uh, 11 days and that concludes my music video in short film pitch thank you